Have you ever found yourself doubting your worth or feeling like you're not quite captivating enough? Do you ever catch yourself wishing for that extra boost of confidence and allure that seems to elude you? Well, you're not alone. Today, we're speaking directly to those who may not always feel like they're oozing confidence and attractiveness. But fear not, because we're about to embark on a transformative journey together. We're here to show you that confidence and attractiveness are not exclusive clubs reserved for a select few but attainable qualities that each and every one of us can cultivate within ourselves. So, if you're ready to break free from self-doubt and embrace your unique beauty, stick around. We've got some invaluable insights on how to be confident and attractive and what to focus on. Let's embark on this empowering journey together. What do you love about yourself? Self-love forms the cornerstone of confidence. It's about recognizing and appreciating your unique qualities, talents, and strengths. Take a moment to reflect on what makes you special, whether it's your creativity, empathy, or perseverance. By acknowledging and embracing these aspects of yourself, you lay a strong foundation for confidence to flourish. This process isn't about arrogance, but rather about acknowledging your worth and inherent value as a person. When you genuinely love yourself, you radiate authenticity and attract others who appreciate you for who you are. Remember, confidence starts from within, and cultivating a genuine appreciation for who you are sets the stage for positive self-image and attractiveness. So, take the time to celebrate your strengths and embrace the qualities that make you uniquely you. How do you handle criticism? Criticism can be challenging to navigate, but it's also an opportunity for growth. Confident individuals approach criticism with an open mind and a willingness to learn. Instead of letting negative feedback undermine their self-esteem, they view it as constructive input for improvement. Ask yourself how you react when faced with criticism. Do you become defensive or introspective? By adopting a constructive mindset, you can turn criticism into a catalyst for personal and professional development, ultimately enhancing your confidence in the process. Embracing criticism as a chance to refine your skills and perspectives not only fosters self-improvement, but also demonstrates maturity and resilience, traits that are undeniably attractive to others. So rather than shying away from feedback, welcome it as an opportunity to grow and evolve into the best version of yourself. Are you setting realistic goals? Goal setting is integral to building confidence, but it's essential to set objectives that are both challenging and attainable. Break down your long-term aspirations into smaller, actionable steps and celebrate each milestone along the way. This approach not only provides a sense of accomplishment, but also reinforces your belief in your ability to succeed. By setting realistic goals and actively working towards them, you cultivate a positive mindset and bolster your confidence in your skills and capabilities. Additionally, achieving these goals builds momentum and propels you forward, fueling your confidence even further. Remember, success isn't defined solely by the end result, but also by the progress you make along the journey. So, set your sights high, but ensure your goals are within reach, and watch your confidence soar as you conquer each step towards your aspirations. How do you handle failure? Failure is an inevitable part of life, but it doesn't have to be a barrier to confidence. Confident individuals view failure as a temporary setback rather than a reflection of their worth. Instead of dwelling on their mistakes, they extract valuable lessons from them and use them as stepping stones towards future success. Ask yourself how you respond to failure. Do you allow it to demoralize you or do you approach it as an opportunity for growth? By reframing your perspective on failure and embracing it as a natural part of the learning process, you cultivate resilience and fortify your confidence in your ability to overcome obstacles. Each failure becomes a lesson learned and a chance to emerge stronger and more resilient than before. Ultimately, enhancing your confidence in your capacity to navigate life's challenges with grace and determination. If you find these insights helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. What's your body language saying? Body language plays a significant role in conveying confidence and attractiveness. Confident individuals exude poise, openness, and assurance through their posture, gestures, and facial expressions. They stand tall, make eye contact, and project a sense of self-assurance in their interactions with others. 
Ask yourself what signals you're sending with your body language. Are you communicating confidence and positivity, or do you appear closed off and insecure? By consciously aligning your body language with feelings of confidence and self-worth, you not only enhance your outward attractiveness, but also reinforce a positive internal mindset. Remember, your body language speaks volumes before you even say a word, so ensure that it reflects the self-assurance and positivity you wish to convey to the world. By mastering your body language, you can enhance your confidence and attractiveness in all aspects of your life. How do you practice self-care? Self-care isn't selfish. It's essential for building confidence. Ask yourself, am I prioritizing my physical, mental, and emotional well-being? Engaging in self-care activities such as exercise, meditation, hobbies, or spending quality time with loved ones nourishes your soul and replenishes your energy. When you take care of yourself, you feel more confident and resilient to face life's challenges. Self-care also involves setting boundaries, saying no when necessary, and seeking support when needed. By making self-care a priority, you show yourself the love and respect you deserve, which in turn boosts your confidence and attractiveness. Remember, you can't pour from an empty cup, so prioritize self-care to cultivate a strong foundation of confidence and well-being. Who do you surround yourself with? The company you keep plays a significant role in shaping your confidence and self-perception. Take a moment to reflect on the people in your life. Do they uplift and support you, or do they bring you down? Surround yourself with individuals who believe in your potential and encourage you to be your best self. Seek out mentors, friends, and role models who inspire and motivate you to reach new heights. Remember, you deserve to be surrounded by positivity and encouragement. By cultivating a supportive network, you create a nurturing environment where confidence can flourish. So take a closer look at your social circle and make conscious choices about who you allow into your life. Surround yourself with those who lift you up and watch your confidence soar to new heights. What's your inner critic saying? We all have that inner voice that sometimes whispers self-doubt and criticism. But how do you respond to it? Pay attention to the dialogue happening in your mind. Are you constantly berating yourself for perceived shortcomings? Or are you offering words of encouragement and self-compassion? Becoming aware of your inner critic is the first step in challenging its authority. Instead of allowing negative self-talk to erode your confidence, practice self-kindness and affirmations. Treat yourself with the same compassion and understanding you would offer to a friend facing a similar situation. By silencing your inner critic and replacing its messages with positivity and self-assurance, you reclaim your power and strengthen your confidence from within. So, be mindful of the thoughts you entertain and choose to cultivate a mindset that uplifts and empowers you. Thank you for joining us on this empowering journey. If you found these tips helpful in boosting your confidence and attractiveness, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. We'd love to hear from you in the comments below which of these strategies resonated with you the most. Share your thoughts and experiences. Let's support each other on our paths to self-confidence. And if you know someone who could benefit from this wisdom, be sure to share this video with them. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more uplifting content. Until next time.